Noctambula. I am the ruler of the world. I am sitting at my desk. I am surrounded by others, my assistants, who were also sitting at similar desks, reading and signing similar pieces of paper. But, of course, my pieces of paper are much more important. Someone surreptitiously places a computer printout in my in tray before hurrying away. I don't suppose I can blame him for trying to get away so quickly. People get nervous in the presence of the ruler of the world. The TV reporters film me as I read it and sign my name. It is a death warrant for a man who tried to overthrow me. The end of day bell rings and we all stand up and file out of the door. There is no point in me staying behind after my subjects. On the train home, no one speaks to me. What could they have to say to their leader? Even so, the cameras are still watching me. I disembark at the station and walk the last mile home. I let myself in and I allow the unspeaking cameramen to follow me into my house. I am greeted by my wife, and together we eat our supper, watched on television by the entire population. I choose to ignore the cameras. My wife follows my example. After eating supper, I make several phone calls to the rulers of other worlds. We talk as equals, but I hear the respect in their voices. My wife and I go to bed and sleep, always watched by the camera lenses. I don't mind being constantly watched. It comes with the job. I got used to it a long time ago, so long ago, in fact, that I can't even remember it having been any other way, because I have been ruler of the world for a long time. And I always will be.